my name is Dina. Last name is Dews. And breast cancer. Uh, I was um, just very, very worried, hoping that it hadn't spread too far. My family was very worried, but also very supportive and kept saying that, you know, everything was going to be okay. I had really good doctors and, you know, if I needed anything, they would help me with anything, that kind of a thing. Well, um, I had several doctors, several different doctors help me. The first doctor, um, through, the, through an ultrasound examination, found the tumor and then she referred me to a... Um, uh, well, let me back up. So then she did a needle biopsy of the tumor to verify that the tumor was indeed cancer. So that was a, um, a radiologist, chief of radiology in, um, see, she was in Daly City Kaiser. And then she referred me to a surgeon who works at South San Francisco Kaiser. And then that surgeon met with me prior to the surgery and then told me what it was going to be about, what she was going to do, and and then she um, performed surgery on um, December 15th. And then I saw another doctor after my surgery who is now my oncologist, and he's with South San Francisco Kaiser as well. I have chemotherapy this coming Wednesday, and then after that I only have one more left um, on June 8th. Well, during the treatment, you can't really feel anything because they, they, they put an IV in my right hand, the top of my right hand, and infuse, um, you know, infuse the drug through that, through the IV, and you just don't really, you don't feel it because it's just so slow. Um, so during the infusion, I don't really feel anything. It's about an hour and a half that I sit there with the IV in my hand. My support system really is my family and friends. Um, Kaiser does have support groups for breast cancer that you can participate in, but I really wasn't interested. I just didn't feel I needed to go to a support group. I have a, a very, very large circle of, uh, of family, and then I have a large circle of friends. And I just have a lot of people, you know, I mean, my husband, obviously, number one, but family and friends. A lot of people supporting me. I didn't feel that I needed to go to a support group. So I have, uh, I know two people who have survived breast cancer. Uh, both had stage stages that were higher than mine. And, um, and they are surviving today. So they've talked to me and encouraged me. I would say that... Um, you know, that I will be, I will be fine after the treatments because, you know, the advancements of, of uh, medicine in treating breast cancer have, have just uh, advanced so far, that, you know, have come so far that the treatments are very, very targeted for, you know, for treating breast cancer so that it's gone. The first thing I would mention is um, for women is to get mammograms every year and do make sure you do the mo monthly um, monthly self exam every month. So that would be the that would really be <laughs> the first piece of advice that I would that I would give. I would say that I'm um, going to be eating um, more healthfully. Just like eating more foods that are organic and meat and you know meats that are organic, vegetables and fruits that are organic. I didn't used to do that before, but I've um, I've read that um, you know any any edge that I can give my body to be more healthy now that I've had cancer. You know any edge that I can give my body, like not eating foods with pesticides and so forth and chemicals, would would uh, help me not, not have the cancer recur. So probably just my outlook would be to just try to eat, eat more healthfully.